Thank you for opening our link to reveal the results of your germination test. This short clip will explain what we found on our client seed samples and how we report the data on the report of seed analysis. As we take you through the steps that are involved in a germination test, you will note that all samples are tested in accordance with the protocols set out in the methods and procedures by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. The official germination test is conducted in an accredited laboratory and it is the first fundamental step needed for establishing basic seed quality. Canadian germination requires testing of 200 seeds in ideal conditions in the growth chamber to ensure optimal germination as there is no stress imposed on the seed. All variables, such as light, moisture and temperature, are strictly controlled to ensure the only variable is the seed itself. The percentage of normal seedlings that are capable of developing into healthy seedlings are counted. Abnormal seedlings too, that have one or more essential structures that are either damaged or absent are also noted. And finally, dead or fresh seed that have no external symptoms of life are cut in half with a scalpel to see if they are viable, in essence alive or dead. Germination, as determined by normal healthy seedlings, is the maximum performance potential of your seed lot and it is reported as a final percentage on the report of seed analysis. Testing immediately after harvest is crucial because your seed analyst can determine the full potential of your seed lot. Why is this preliminary or harvest germination test so pivotal to quality? A germination test reveals many keys to the history of your crop. For example, in this case, we can determine that the growing season for this crop, especially leading up to harvest, was good. The bulk of the seedlings are normal and healthy. Normal seedlings possess all the essential structures that are indicative of their ability to produce normal mature plants under favourable field conditions. The normal seedlings have long, healthy root structures and a primary leaf or cotyledon, depending on the species being tested. Minimum germination grade table requirements are 85% or over for certified number one on cereals. Any issues noted in your sample will be stated in the comments section of the report of seed analysis. We invite you to please refer to our tech bulletins on our website for further information. Thank you for watching.